Hi, it's Kristen Tollefson, the Education Director at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action, Bima from Home. Today, I thought we could take a walk down to the beach and find a couple of rocks and do some drawing on rocks. This is a project that I have done ever since I was a kid. I've done it with my own kids and it really knows no age limit and uh, is always fun and really gets you thinking outside the box and just having fun. Here are a couple examples of what we're going to look at. This is one that is done with pencil and this works really well with smooth rocks like you might find on a lake shore or a river bank. These are both from those places. Um, it also lends itself to very delicate work. Here's some uh, little detail of a piece that was done just with lines and dots. It also works well for blending colors like this sunset. Another way that you can get color on rock is by painting. This one was done using acrylic paint and it was just painted on. Um, the bottom was left to dry, the red color was left to dry for a little while, and then the other colors were applied after. You can see how some the red was also applied in a circle around a blank space that the blue could be put on afterward. So um, lots of different ways to put paint on. Finally, we're going to look at how you can use crayon on rock. This technique is actually kind of fun. Um, using crayons on paper is great and on a rough surface of a rock can be very fun as well. This is a silver crayon and then some multicolored crayons that have been applied in multiple layers of color. Then it's been put in the oven for a very short time and rubbed with a newspaper to make it nice and shiny and blend in. So I'm going to show you how to do this. What you want to do first is make sure that the rocks are clean and this might involve taking them to the sink and giving them a scrub with a brush, um, maybe even a little bit of soap if you need to, and letting them dry. The next step is deciding what you'd like to do on the surface of your rock. This one suggests to me something that needs some, maybe some color on one end and some shine on the other end. So I'm choosing a silver crayon and I'm going to draw all over the surface. After I'm done coloring and the rock has come out of a warm oven and I'm able to handle it comfortably, I burnish it with a piece of newspaper to blend in the color and to make the surface shiny. Sometimes the best projects are the simplest projects. We'd love to see what you're doing at home and how you're taking our, our ideas and making them yours. Please leave us a comment or post to hashtag Bima from home and we'll be looking for your inventions. Until next time, it's art in action.